restricted arrest, um, either for purposes of construction sites or near very you know, densely populated areas, does have general speed limit of roughly you know, 85 miles per hour and um, you know, even, even lower, down to 60 percent sometimes. Um, here in Mecklenburg, as it's so you know, not very densely populated, um, so sparsely you know, populated, you do, however, have vast parts of this one, so called A20, um, you know, without any speed limit. And sometimes it's a tourist attraction in its own right, so I was told that you know, people come to Germany to rent a really fast car with a very powerful engine and try to yeah, push it to the limit really and go as fast as they could for once in their lifetime at least. It's, of course, in every other country it's not as easy and if you, let's say, have the chance then you don't quite have the road or the roads or the, uh, the streets to, uh, to, to attempt that in a safe way. So here the Autobahn is a well-maintained um, uh, well road, almost a racetrack really, that is quite costly. So all of these roads are, of course, government owned, either by the state or the federal government and it costs billions each year to keep them in good shape. So of the roughly 12,000 miles of Autobahn we have here in Germany, at least 10% is under construction at all times and under maintenance much to the dismay of a lot of the commuters having to go from A to B here and yeah, every day, of course. But still, um, yeah, then sometimes most of those people who, let's say, go to Munich, rent a car, want to go to Berlin, they're a little disappointed as they are sometimes then traffic jammed or can't go um, really fast for prolonged, prolonged stretches. Then I, and then I always, I always think to myself, well, they should have come here to Mecklenburg, uh, not only because um, yeah, this is a beautiful place, but uh, usually um, during the weekdays, um, yeah, the autobahn here is almost you know, empty. And you can really go as fast as you want, so 180, 200 miles per hour, uh, no problem. But there's a pretty strict etiquette uh, how to drive on these kind of roads. So as of right now, as you can see, we have two lanes here with the um, yeah, with another emergency lane on the very right side. Um, that's only yeah, that is reserved for people whose car breaks down, for instance. Um, but if you want to overtake somebody on the autobahn, you are only permitted to do that via the left lane. So even if you have three lanes, um, you have to, in order to overtake somebody on the very right lane, you have to do that um, either on the most left lane or the one in the middle. So under no circumstance you are allowed to overtake somebody by the right lanes. Uh, it's even a final offense. And even still, if you, let's say, have a very fast car, and uh, you're, not, you're not allowed to just hop the left lane the entire time, you're always supposed to go back to the right lanes, either the middle one or the, you know, if you have more than the, the others, so that um, other people, um, if they choose to do so, can still overtake you. And you have to be, you really have to be careful as well, as there's always somebody faster than you especially motorcycles or you know, fast sports cars. So it can be a little daunting at first if you've never driven, you know, if you were never driving really that fast before. But uh, yeah, many people in Germany really like to have the freedom to at least have the option to do that if they wanted to. Many people don't, and of course gas prices here in Germany are a little higher than in other parts of the world. Um, but still, um, it's one of the liberties that I guess um, Germany, uh, the Germans will cling to as much as they can. And of course, the auto manufacturers and uh, the automobile associations will fight quite hard to keep those unrestricted stretches in place. 